Hello everyone. I'm pleased to have this opportunity to present this talk uh, from a groundwater perspective. Groundwater is everywhere beneath us, below the water table, all of the cracks in the rock and the pore spaces in the sand are completely filled with water. Nearly all dug wells and water holes have pathogens contamination. Springs provide hundreds of millions of rural people with their household water. Even at improved spring sources, E. coli concentrations are commonly high. And that's because the improvements don't prevent contamination from animals and human waste from getting into the shallow surface, subsurface, and running into the well. More than 2 billion people are without safe drinking water. This is water poverty due to contaminated water or not enough water. Most household drinking water sources are contaminated or otherwise insecure. Pathogens contamination in household wells is even common in developed countries. In Canada, Europe, the US. And this is nearly always due to faulty well seals. Here are two household wells shown in Canada. Private household wells in developed countries commonly show pathogens contamination and their help, therefore household water treatment is needed even there. Contamination is usually due to bacteria or viruses and these are very small particles and can travel down a very small imperfections in the well seals. Most well seals have pathways from surface because they're so difficult to make properly. Components of a water well, if it's probably properly built, you have a seal formed of swelling clay or a cement clay mixture. Uh, not pure cement or not concrete because cement deteriorates over time. Wells in developing countries, most wells are unsafe based on pathogens testing and extrapolations from uh, uh, what little testing has been done. Why do so many wells have pathogens contamination? Requirements for success are uh, many. You need knowledge and care for success, a good seal composition, the seal in place properly at appropriate depth. There are three components to solving rural water poverty and filters are essential. Household water treatment is essential because all water sources should be viewed as insecure. Testing is nearly always inadequate. Fortunately, there are a large range of treatment options, including boiling, chlorine, and filters. At the Stockholm Water Week in 2022, the Dutch water envoy, Peter Ovenink, called for innovation and action now with game-changing ideas. And based on that call, a small group of people formulated the bold idea, referred to as two with eight. And I'll draw your attention to the Groundwater Project. Education is a solution based on free knowledge with translations. Hundreds of books are being published in many languages. And we have a new focus on developing countries a book on well seals is in progress. Translations are important. We have PDF downloads in 174 countries.